Hey everyone, welcome back to Money Control. Once again, we dive into the latest buzz in the stock market. From strategic partnership to key approvals, fundraising and major appointments, we've got all the updates that could impact today's trading session. So which stocks are on the radar? Let's jump right in and break down the headlines that matter. The first stock in our list is Geo Financial Services Limited. The financial service entity spun off from Reliance Industries under Chairman Mukesh Ambani said on October 4 that market regulator SEBI had granted in principle approval to the company and BlackRock Financial Management to act as co-sponsors and set up the proposed mutual fund. The final approval for registration will be granted by SEBI subject to fulfillment by the company and BlackRock of the requirement set out in the said letter, JFC said. On July 26, 2023, JFS and BlackRock announced an agreement to create Geo BlackRock, a 50-50 joint venture which marked BlackRock's re-entry into the Indian market after it exited in 2018. Geo BlackRock combines BlackRock's expertise in investment management, risk management and technology with Geo Financial Services, local market knowledge and digital infrastructure. The joint venture aimed to introduce a new player to the Indian market with a unique scope and scale. The next stock in the list is Gale India. The company has partnered with AMG to set up a solar and wind hybrid renewable energy project of up to 2.5 gigawatt in India, the state-owned PSU said in the statement. Both the companies signed a memorandum of understanding on October 4. As part of MOU, both companies will focus on long-term supply of CO2 for hybrid renewable energy projects and e-methanol in the country, as per the statement. In line with MOU, both the parties and research to undertake studies for long-term supply of around 350 kTa CO2 generated by Gale in its gas processing plant to reduce e-methanol. According to the statement, Gale will also have an equity option to invest in the proposed e-methanol project, ensuring a strategic partnership that supports both companies' objectives in promoting sustainable energy solutions. The third stock on our radar is Lupin. The US Food and Drug Administration completed a pre-approval inspection of Lupin Limited's biotech facility in Pune, the company said on October 5th. The inspection was carried out from September 25 to October 4 and concluded with five observations. The drug maker did not disclose UFFDA's observation but said it is addressing them comprehensively and will respond within the stipulated time frame. According to Lupin website, it has three centres in Pune, Lupin Biotech, Lupin Research Park and Lupin Bioresearch Centre. And all three centres are involved in the developments of biosimilar for the global market. All the manufacturing is carried out at Lupin Biotech, all biosimilar research in Lupin Research Park and all the Phase 1 and PK studies along with testing for CT is carried out at Lupin Bioresearch Centre. The fourth in the list is 197 Communication or Paytm. Paytm's ongoing Chief Technology Officer Manmeet Singh Dodi has new role which the payment company call as AI Fellow. The job is to drive projects related to AI innovation in business. The replacement CTO will be Senior Vice President Deependra Singh Rathor. 197 Communication Limited or OCL which owns the Paytm brand announced in its exchange filing on October 4. Rathor, who has more than two decades of experience in the technology sector, has worked with Paytm for more than eight years now. He joined as a general manager of technology for Paytm's payment gateway business in January 2016. Became a senior vice president at Paytm's payment bank for nearly four years from November 2020 to August 2024 and became a senior vice president of Paytm afterward till now, according to his LinkedIn profile. The last stock to watch out is Gravita India. One of India's largest lead producer, Gravita India has approved a fundraise of up to 1,000 crore through equities or partly converted debentures or both through a private placement, fresh public issue of equity or debt, preferential issue or a right issue in one or more tranches. Managing Director Rajat Agarwal has also elevated to the position of CMD, the company said. The company has lined up a capex of over Rs 600 crore rental FY27 which will be funded from internal accruals and the company is not taking any incremental debt. For FY25, Gravita India has lined up a capex of Rs 180 crore including Rs 140 crore for the existing vertical and rest for the new verticals. In total, the total capex planned over 5 years till FY27 is over Rs 600 crore. The company has seen a trend of lead recycling in India shift towards the formal sector in recent years. With this, it's a wrap for today's Stock Market Insight. We hope this gave you a clear picture of the key players in the trade market and the moves they are making. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification so you never miss out on the latest update. 
What are your thoughts on these developments? Drop us a comments below and we'll catch you next time. Until then, happy trading.